Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a video about the GAMSAT entry test for medical school. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm in a very beautiful setting compared to my normal videos, it's because I'm at my sister's house and she said I could film a quick video here. So that is why I've got these beautiful surroundings. So first of all, what is the GAMSAT? Well, it's an entry exam that some medical schools in the UK and abroad require for uh, their applicants to sit and pass in order to get into medical school. So that's pretty simple. The medical schools that require the GAMSAT are Cardiff, Keele, Plymouth, Exeter, Liverpool, St George's in London, Swansea, Nottingham and St Andrews and there are more that accept it abroad but those are just the UK ones so um, I'll put the link down below for the YAMSAT website and you guys can have a look at that if you want to see which ones accept it. So the purpose of the GAMSAT exam um, that they say on their website is to um, test people's ability to critically think and analyse and to test people's ability to organise their thoughts. There are three parts to the GAMSAT. Part number one is reasoning in humanities and social science. Part number two is written communication. And part number three is reasoning in biological and physical sciences. Part number one and two are kind of more creative. So they rely on your ability to sort of critically analyse things, to be a bit more creative in your answers because you have to do a written answer. And part number three is about your basic science knowledge. Now I say basic, but it's actually first year level of university biology and chemistry that they expect, and A level physics. So the question that people most ask me about my GAMSAT experience is how did I prepare for the GAMSAT? So I thought today I would try and answer that as best as I can for you. So with parts one and two being more of the creative side of things and reasoning and critically analysing, um, what I did is I tried to read plenty of books, read poetry and then try and kind of go back into the GCSE and A-level English mindset of critically analysing things and trying to work out what the themes of a story are or trying to get underneath the surface of the story and read between the lines. So one thing you could do, as well as trying to read broadly, reading poems, novels, lots of different types of writing, is to have a look online at um, reviews of books, have a look at book club websites, see what other people's takes on books are, and see if other people have ways of critically analysing books, just so you can get into a different mindset if you're not necessarily that way inclined about thinking. So the other thing they want to make sure that everyone can do in parts one and two of the GAMSAT is to organise your thoughts. So that means you need to come up with a way of structuring your work and starting with an introduction, a middle and a conclusion to, to your answers. So the third part of the GAMSAT is the sciencey bit and that is the thing that most people get their knickers in a twist about because Science is hard, right? So um, the way that I prepared for this, I mean, I did a science degree. So maybe I had a bit of a head start in that sense, but I still felt like I needed to prepare quite a bit for that. So what I did is I went back through um, chemistry and biology, um, A-level revision materials, and I actually bought some A-level revision materials for physics because I didn't do physics for A-level. On the GAMSAT website, it actually recommends trying to get your hands on some first year biology and chemistry notes and topics so that you can practice with those. So once you've done a bit of preparation, I think the main thing to do with the GAMSAT is to practice because you're only going to be able to get good at sitting the GAMSAT by practicing sitting the GAMSAT. So on the website you can actually buy some preparation materials and I think you get some past papers when you actually enter to sit the exam itself. Um, but it is a bit pricey, maybe £15-£20 per practice paper, but I would really recommend doing that because you then get the answers to it. So you can sit and do those in timed conditions and practice what the actual exam is going to be like. And once you've done them in timed conditions and marked yourself, you can work out where your weak areas are and you can just hone in on those skills that you need to practice. The other thing I would just say about the GAMSAT is they always have them in big open halls and the sittings are in September and March 
and trust me those halls can get very cold so on the day of the gamsat one take loads of snacks with you because it's a long day and two wear lots of layers so that you will stay warm and you won't be distracted by the fact that you're in such a freezing cold hall so good luck guys i hope this has helped you and if you've got any questions or comments don't forget to leave them down below and i will be posting more medical school and doctor videos soon so make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up down below because it really helps my channel thanks for watching bye